when I'm making decisions, I think about markets and people. So, and, and a few other things. So one is, you know, is the market for what somebody's doing big enough to matter? Can you build a big enough company? There are a lot of businesses that can be very good businesses, but you don't need to raise venture capital for them, right? And partly for a couple of reasons. One is venture capital is actually a pretty expensive form of capital, right? People come in, they want to own a pretty significant part of your company. In some egregious cases, maybe it's 30 or 40 percent, maybe it's 50. So you want it to be a big problem and, and really to merit uh, an investment to generate a, a good financial return. Um, you'd like it to be also something that is hopefully um, has some defensibility. And defensibility doesn't necessarily mean, oh, I have to have a lot of patents. But if you're first to market in some areas, that can be um, an enormous advantage. Um, hopefully, there's something more than just that, because then lots of people can invest more capital and catch, catch up with you. Um, you also look for differentiation. Why is this different? And can you maintain that difference? And of course, at the people. I mean, the, the entrepreneurs are really, really important. And um, you know, one of the things you look for, or at least I look for, is, you know, how driven are they? Um, are they driven to succeed? Is it, is, do they have that kind of singularity of focus? Um, Reid Hoffman, it, you know, has said something that I think is really true. You know, obviously the best thing you can do is succeed out the gate. The second best thing you can do is fail early because, um, you know, if you aren't focused on a particular you know, problem, what have you know, or product, you can look like you're being successful in a few places when the truth is you're failing everywhere. So having that singularity is 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 of focus is is really terribly important.